got update on uh, Tropical Storm Raphael here. We have Tropical Storm Raphael, which currently is uh, just north of San Juan right now. And this storm is going to continue to move up in the direction of Bermuda, probably just east of Bermuda within two days, and just east of Newfoundland within, say, about four days here. Uh, this is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane and could affect Bermuda. Right now there's no watches or warnings out of Bermuda because we're not sure just how close it's going to be to Bermuda because models have shifted a little bit further east. Same for Newfoundland, but you should be watching this. Uh, one thing to note up in Newfoundland though is temperatures um, are up in the 40s um, right now. So if we get a tropical system, it's not likely to be much, very much tropical by the time it reaches there. The top sustained winds are 60 miles per hour right now. Uh, the storm is looking very formidable on satellite. If we go take a look at the satellite picture, um, very cold cloud tops in the center here, and it's very long. It's a very elongated system from the northern Lesser Antilles all the way up um, north of San Juan, Puerto Rico here. So this storm is going to continue to chug on northward here and be picked up and steered towards the northeast as this trough in the eastern part of the U.S. picks Raphael up. That's it for the tropics. Let's take a look at the lower 48 where we have a slight risk of severe thunderstorms from Memphis up to Detroit on over to Chicago and Milwaukee. Um, right now we don't have much in the way of severe weather as of the early afternoon here. This cold front pushing to the east pushing into a very warm air mass. You can see 60s across New York, Pennsylvania, down into uh, the Carolinas, 70s across the, the um, deep south here, and 80s along the Gulf Coast. We have a lot of storm reports out uh, yesterday from Texas. You can see on up to Missouri, and heavy rain reports, flooding reports over from Iowa, over to northern Michigan here, where we have a lot of heavy rain north of the warm front, overrunning moisture. Pacific Northwest, we've got a cold front dropping in with some showers um, and some lowering snow levels, um, but that's about it. Um, the west temperatures are fairly in the 50s and 60s and 70s in Southern California, 80s in, in uh, Arizona. So that pretty much does it for the lower 48. Let's take a look at the precipitation over the next couple days. We're going to see a stripe of 3 inch plus rains from just about Illinois up to uh, Michigan and on up into southern Ontario and Quebec with that system that's going to head northeastward. Also the big story um, with this precipitation south of this precipitation is going to be a lot of wind. So there could be a wind event going on through New York, Pennsylvania and New England probably from Monday, Monday night and possibly Tuesday. Winds gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour. So that's something to look forward to. I'm meteorologist Mark Mulner. That pretty much does it for the weather for today. Um, you can go to our website, www.mediomark.com, or uh, visit our Facebook page. Like us on Facebook at Meteomark. Um, and don't forget to like this video or subscribe to us either above or wherever it is if you're watching us on a mobile device. Um, I'm trying something new here for my hometown folks. Um, after the video, or the end of the video, I'm going to leave you with the four-day forecast for anybody who's in my hometown.